six distinct eras. The Quran says that the universe was created in six eras. Skeptics claim that whoever wrote the Quran made a mistake, the universe is billions of years old. Today cosmologists confirm that the universe went through six distinct eras. By applying the laws of physics to the universe, and comparing the possible solutions with the observations and measurements we've obtained, we can determine both where we came from and where we're headed. We can extrapolate our history all the way back to the beginning of the hot big bang and even before, to a period of cosmic inflation. We can extrapolate our current universe into the far distant future as well, and foresee the ultimate fate that awaits everything that exists. When we draw the dividing lines based on how the universe behaves, we find that there are six different eras that will come to pass. One inflationary era, which preceded and set up the hot big bang. Two primordial soup era, from the start of the hot big bang until the final transformative nuclear particle interactions occur in the early universe. Three plasma era, from the end of non-scattering nuclear and particle interactions until the universe cools enough to stably form neutral matter. Four dark ages era, from the formation of the neutral matter until the first stars and galaxies ionize the intergalactic medium of the universe completely. Five stellar era, from the end of ionization until the gravity-driven formation and growth of large-scale structure ceases when the dark energy density dominates over the matter density. Six dark energy era, the final stage of our universe, where the expansion accelerates and disconnected objects speed irrevocably and irreversibly away from one another. We already entered this final era billions of years ago. Most of the important events that will define our universe's history have already occurred. Check this site out to verify, bigthing.org, the universe is already in its sixth and final era, 2022 the universe went through six distinct eras. This was known recently, however this was portrayed in the Quran 1400 years before it was discovered. Quran 754 and your Lord, Allah, who created the heavens and the earth in six days and then settled on the throne. Allah, covers the night with the day, asks for it persistently, and the sun and the moon and the stars enslaved by his orders. Is this not his creation and his command? Blessed be Allah the Lord of all the worlds. Those six days are on the throne. The frame of reference for creation is the throne, not earth. We know from Einstein that my clock and your clock will not run at the same rate. Time, or rate of our clocks, depends on acceleration and or gravity. If my clock accelerates and or is in a strong gravitational field then it will run slower than your clock. Muslims believe that paradise and hell are both much bigger and much more massive than earth, but still much smaller than God's throne. The theory of general relativity says that time passes slower near an object more massive than earth, clocks run slower in stronger gravitational fields. So according to general relativity time should pass in paradise slash hell much slower than on earth. This was known recently, however this was portrayed in the Quran 1400 years before it was discovered. In the Quran one day in paradise slash hell measures are 1000 years on earth. Quran 2247 they challenge you to bring forth that torture, in hell, and Allah will not break his promise. A day of your Lord, paradise slash hell, is like a thousand years of what you count. Here God promises those who do not believe in hell and punishment that each day of their torture in hell will measure a thousand years on earth. So according to the Quran, time passes faster on earth than in paradise slash hell. But this agrees with the theory of general relativity which says that time passes slower near bigger mass. Paradise and hell are much more massive than earth and time should pass there much slower than on earth. Christians believe that God created the universe in six earthly days and rested on the seventh. Muslims believe that six days passed at God's throne but we experienced 13.7 billion years on earth. Muslims believe that God is not bound to his throne, rather he created it and set it as a reference. The Quran says that God's throne is even wider than the whole universe, so how about the mass of God's throne? God's throne is much more massive than earth. Time should pass there much slower than on earth. Our solar system is 4.57 billion years old. Earth started accreting concurrently with the sun and our neighboring planets 4.57 BLN years ago. However the universe is 13.7 plus minus 0.2 BLN years old. This places the age of Earth at one third the age of the universe, 4.57 BLN slash 13.7 BLN equals one third. In the Quran God's throne is used as a reference. In God's throne time Earth is two days old while the heavens, Earth and everything in between are six days old, two sixth equals one third, Quran 41 to 9 say, is it that you deny him, Allah, who created the earth in two days. 
and you claim others to be equal to him. He is the Lord of all the worlds. Quran 50:38. And we have created the heavens and earth and everything in between in six days, and we were not touched by fatigue. All those days are on the throne, the frame of reference for creation is the throne. When God says that he created the heavens, earth and everything in between, including you and me, in six days this means that he is referring to the period of existence. Earth has been in existence for two days out of six, two-sixths equals one-third. Muslims believe that God sustains all living things, and all his commands to the angels to sustain man and animals were inscribed on the preserved tablet. The Quran says that not even a leaf would drop on earth without it being previously recorded on this preserved tablet. God says that he inscribed this preserved tablet before the creation of earth started. He answered our prayers today, as commands for the angels on the preserved tablet, during the first four days when earth was still smoke. After this he ordered earth to form. Quran 41-9-12 say, Is it that you deny him, Allah, who created the earth in two days? And you claim others to be equal to him? He is the Lord of all the worlds. He set on it earth, mountains, and bestowed it with blessings. And Allah estimated all its sustenance in four days, equally for those who ask prayers. After this, Allah commanded the heaven and it was still smoke. He said to it and to earth, come together, willingly or unwillingly. They said, we do come together in willing obedience. So Allah judged them as seven heavens, one above the other, in two days and revealed to each heaven its orders. And we, Allah adorned the lowest heaven with lights, and protection. Such is the decree of the exalted, the knowledgeable. God answered our prayers today when earth was still smoke, the first four days. After this, Thummah in Arabic, God ordered earth to form. The formation of earth took two days. So our prayers today are already answered on the preserved tablet since before the formation of earth started. Also in the first two days God judged the seven superimposed heavens and revealed his orders to the angels as instructions on the preserved tablet. In God's throne time, earth is two days old while the heavens, earth and everything in between are six days old. This makes the age of earth to be one third the age of the universe, two sixths equals one third. Similarly in earth time, the age of earth is 4.57 billion years while the age of the universe is 13.7 billion years, this is also one third. 4.57 BLN slash 13.7 BLN equals one third. So it is the same ratio in earth time or in God's throne time. The theory of general relativity explains why time at God's throne passes slower than on earth. General relativity explains why six days passed at God's throne but we measured it as 13.7 billion years. So according to the Quran, God's throne greater than paradise slash hell greater than earth the smaller the mass, the faster the time. We are sure that time is relative, that is, the age of the universe is different for observers with clocks running at different rates. For example, there exists an observer who measures the age of the universe to be 3 billion years, however, he also measures the age of Earth to be 1 billion years. But the Quran presented it as a ratio, one third, and this ratio turned out to be correct for any observer, whatever the clock rate. If the Quran presented it in any form other than a ratio it would have been wrong for different observers. How could an illiterate man who lived 1,400 years ago have known about the age of the universe? The Christian Bible puts the creation of Earth on day one, making the age of Earth equal to the age of the universe. So the age of the universe according to the Bible is 6,000 years.